hello, my name's Matt Clark. Uh, and my work is I help people do their work better. I think it's very important to find a good reason why. Because if you don't have a good reason, you don't want to necessarily just integrate with each other or get connected. There has to be a real purpose, something that means something to you, something that you want to see being improved, something you want to see be better. It's something that you might not have the answer to right now, but if you did have the answer, it would make a huge difference and you've got to really want it. If you don't feel a need for a solution, you and others won't really come together to address it. I think there might, there might be many different tricks, many different techniques and things. If there is a compelling reason why to come together, it's like a magnet. It attracts many people to come together to address that question or to address that topic together. That, that for me integrates it. Once you've got that, I think it's this really good manners, good common courtesy. Say hello to each other. Listen to what's going on for people. Um, what's top of their mind? What are they thinking? Just listen, absorb, soak in, rather than push your own opinion forward and then just wait for the clock to tick along until the next thing happens. You've got to want to be in connection. Be in receive mode, not only give mode. Well, they're still going on. The hardest ones still continue. So just this week, I was with four different organisations and we were looking at the question of how do we progress global stewardship and sustainable livelihoods together. So global stewardship is all about doing the right things in the world. This is about not chopping down trees. And there was another organisation that was very much around sustainable livelihoods, mostly for the farmers. So how do farmers make sure that they have a livelihood? And farmers really are looking for land. So there's a, a tension between these two. But once they listen to each other, they came together around the question because the question made perfect sense to both of them. They came out with new strategies and now they're away, they're being implemented. The number one thing is that the project or the topic has to be more important than all of the individuals involved. If you get that order the wrong way round, where the individuals are more important than the project, the individuals are thinking, well, what can I get out of the project? But if it's the right way around, where the project is more important than all of us, then the individuals start to think, well, how can we contribute to the project? And you start to shift the tone. I think the only way is it requires leadership. And leadership is someone who genuinely believes in the importance of the project. If they genuinely believe, they can start to enfold and bring other people into the belief of it as well. It, it is an act of leadership, not just saying it to everybody that you should be doing this. No one's really interested that it should happen. If they're led into it, brought into it, encouraged into it, can, asking them to continue to give their energy, keep going with their thinking, start feeling progress, it gains some momentum and it's a way. I think, so first of all, just a welcome from a leader and a welcome just as simple as thank you for coming. We just love to know how are you and what is most top of mind for you and let's hear from everybody, maybe one or two minutes each if you have something like up to 30 people. If it's more, it might be have them have that conversation with each other. And if it's more again, maybe groups of threes or fours and just have them have those conversations together. I find that is the best way for warm-up for me compared to say a warm-up exercise or an icebreaker or a something else. It's, it's again, it's showing the importance of the question and the topic we're addressing and we're coming together around that.